All right, everybody, welcome back to part number nine of my Out of Wilds blind playthrough. Yesterday, we made lots of progress, and um, I've just had a bit of a mental dump of everything that I've been thinking between now, then and now, uh, between now and then or even, um, about um, theories and potential things that we need to be looking out for and uh, how we're going to actually progress um, any further with the game. So... Um, not really sure where to start tonight, but we our options are narrowing down um, as we look on the map of um, different leads and things we have to kind of cover off. The most important one, or, or the main ones looking at the map, we have the radio station where we have four coordinates, just look at my notes, uh, four coordinates um, that we can potentially um, go to, or well, coordinates I mean like the, the angle, the degrees, um, on the... Um, satellite we then have got the lead for the sun station how can we get to the sun station the the lawn the the teleporting pad on the ash twin is blocked off by cactus so is there a way to get back to the cactus maybe there's some more things that we need to learn there and then finally there is um how can we get into the core we know we need to use a jellyfish and um yeah being able to do that is um didn't quite work yesterday we just tried driving in. i've got some ideas of how we might be able to do this so they're the three kind of main um areas of interest for me at the moment and what we're going to be exploring um but uh yeah let's um without further ado game loading and jump right in time to wake up all righty then so um Based on um, what we were just talking about there, there's something I actually wanted to bring up, and I I was thinking about this this afternoon about how the game. Uh, well, unless th this this all hinges on. Oh, if, before I go on to this tangent, let's let's head to the radio station because it involves the radio station. This this little tangent that um, I'm going to go on to. So um, let's mark that on the map and head off to the radio station, radio tower, sorry. All right, so we've we've been here we've looked at all the the all the bits and pieces right and this is the one that i think we said we was interested on because we've got like this whole this thing here right got this thing right here which i believe is the quantum moon okay, and that's the strange thing that's been discussed in the recording about um why they're going out to explore and, and blah de blah de blah now one thing i was thinking about is what's the thing around the hourglass twins oh All right, well, it doesn't break my rant, LB. <laughs> it still doesn't break my rant at all. Um, so, the um, what I'm trying to get at is one thing we've learned. <laughs> one thing we learned about quantum mechanics, right, is that if you take a picture of the quantum object, yeah, it doesn't disappear. Okay. So, this satellite has taken a picture of the quantum moon. Why does it keep moving? Just that one with you. That's where I was going with that anyway. That is where I was going with that one. All right, so anyway, let's um, head off over here momentarily. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. My... Uh, my theory and uh, my thought about the game being broken has been completely destroyed there by LB.
Uh, right, so, uh, we don't want that marker. Is the satellite on here? No. Yeah, I, I just, I thought it was, if there was a picture, then, um, it was, it was fine, but no. Well, I guess there would be no way to really test that with the... Right, we're looking for deep space radios frequency. It's the radio tower, and there it is. I can see the red light in the distance. Some 36 kilometers away. No problem about like being so far away here. Oh, there we go. I just want to look on. We can lock on now. Right after we've done a controller disconnect, reconnect thing. Kind of weird that I like like the first five six episodes never had that issue, and now I'm having it all the time. Almost like you get to a certain point in the game, and then like there's a crossover period of um, it doing it, which is really weird. Also, at the risk of embarrassment to somebody. And also to call them out. I'll do this. I see you lurking in the chat, Evan. And you shouldn't be here. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <sighs> all right. Autopilot. Whoa! Okay, so. Oh. Uh. Whoopsie. That ain't good. It's going on, Tricks. How you doing, buddy? Does it, uh. Hold on, I wonder. So, um, uh, I don't think there's a way to fix this, is there? Just, just for context, um, What happens if I open my map now? Oh, right. Yikes. <laughs> I've broken the universe and the solar system. Uh, it wasn't me. You didn't see me do it. Can't prove anything. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just for, just for context. Now that... Uh, now that... Um, he's gone. <laughs> that was my son who was lurking in the chat. I saw him in the, uh, in the viewers list. And... Uh, he should be uh he should be in bed going to sleep. So yeah. <laughs> Called him out. You can't hide from knock. Okay. Well I mean That's unfortunate. But let's uh let's restart. Shortest loop ever. How far, how far you got to travel for that, Minka? Have you, well, have you got to travel for it? I'm assuming you don't live in Helsinki, do you? Uh, well, just to... Uh, if you didn't hear my response there, uh, Zytrix... Um, well, yeah, I suppose so. Um, 
yeah, long story short, we uh, it knocks the map offline. Come out, come out wherever you are. There it is. Gotcha. Again? Seriously? Oh, you have got an apartment in Helsinki. How far is your uh, How far is your mom's house from Helsinki? I know what it's like to travel though. You know, I I, I live 125 miles away from my office, so not that I go a lot, but whenever I have to go to the office, it's like ugh, commute. Ugh, commute to London's even worse. <laughs> I don't mind driving, but. As long as there's no traffic. Right, I'm gonna like take a wide berth. I'm gonna approach this from behind. I don't wanna do the same thing again here. Slowly. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> well, um... Somebody didn't land the first rule of space. To be fair, I've I've been like I've been in the habit of kind of um, putting my spacesuit on as soon as I get into the car, into the ship, and for some reason I didn't do it that time. I don't know why. I should really like have a look at the map when we find the um it is. So we should really have a look at the map just to kind of get a rough idea of where it is at the beginning. Am I actually moving? I guess so. The thing is, I don't think, even looking there, I don't think it's actually gonna... It wouldn't help us, like, finding it early in the, in the future anyway. About 100 kilometers. Yeah, I I heard on the news that um, there's quite a few places around Europe right now who are um, going into lockdown, and the the levels and the rates are rising again. So Let's stay here. Space suit on. Yeah. Okay. Next. I'm not making that mistake again. Although well, I probably will at some point. Okay.
almost that. Say almost. Now, I'm going to get out my scout just for the simple fact that if the eye is of quantum origin and if it appears when we're at 40 degrees we can take a picture of it right and it should remain Nothing's appearing yet, though. Oh, there's something. Okay. That's really weird though, because it's like you can see straight through. Ah. Yo, Leo. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a good few days. All right, so. Yeah, we, we've had a busy couple of streams. We certainly have. That's well, got 137, 248, and 350. Now, I, I wonder if my mistake there was I should have sort of made haste and headed towards that. What's, what's, kind, of, what's kind of... So I've lost my... Uh, by going into there, I've lost the picture. I don't know if that matters. Um, what's kind of interesting though as well is the fact that um, it almost looks like a, an, an actual eye when it kind of like overlays over the sun, which is kind of weird. Pretty cool at the same time. Now, the problem is, I don't actually think... I'm not sure, though, that... I'm not sure, really, that that is everything. I'm not sure we'll get to see it again, though, in this. I'm not sure we'll get to see it again. It all depends on whether or not the... Um, all depends whether or not the satellite... Actually... Orbits more than once. in the 22 minute period. The next one's at 37, but I didn't, we didn't really see, it was only really 40, wasn't it, where we found something now. Um, all right. I'm going to. I'm going to come off there a moment. And. 
head back to Timber Hearth a minute. I want to go back to the radio station. I need to check who it was that sent Gabbro there in the first place to investigate because of the, malfun the potential malfunction. I wonder if we maybe talk to them again, whether or not any more information will come to light. I can't lock onto it from there. Okay. That makes uh, things easier, doesn't it? Okay, radio station is here by the looks of it. Fine, like when I'm doing bits and pieces and, and navigating around, it's easier to use the um, the match uh, velocity rather than trying to use the thrusters. doesn't tell me. So let's have a look at our ship's log. It probably tells me on there. Hornfells. Okay. The Hornfells is in the museum, right? Close enough. All right. Yeah, we know about Feldspar. We told him about Feldspar, haven't we? Yeah, I think that's quite. Um, I think it's quite normal, to be fair, uh, Mika. I know for me, like certainly, like a little bit after, it was um, proper dead arm. Okay. Um, It's deep. Isn't that where Gabro is? Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Gabro, see if, um, he can tell us anything about what's going on now that we've actually seen it with our own eyes.
And if not, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the loop. And... I think we'll just wait for it to appear and then, like, charge towards it as quickly as we can. Just to see whether or not there is um, anything going for it. I that before, did it look busy? I hope it looked busy. Must have been from the time Holland Hill Cemetery check on the detail satellite. Though, thought Old Spacey might have been malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how I got shot of my beautiful be-helmeted face, come to think of it. But it's kind of sweet that the best way to find Old Spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself. Like it's inviting us to visit good old deep space satellite. Always making sure we know where we're going. Told me, but Holmes tells me a lot of things, and sometimes I tune out or I pretend the signal interference and can't hear them. Best guess says that these hosts must have sent Timberhurst some weird pictures, but like what's considered weird for a satellite. Anyway, if you want to visit Old Space, the first place, jump in your ship and use the solar system map to lock on the satellite, same as you would any astral body. Alright. What we just sort of said, wasn't it? So. Restart the loop. Get to the satellite. And then as soon as it appears, or just before it's about to appear, I guess we're just going to make a massive beeline to it. And see what we can see, right? Well, that's a much easier way to find a satellite, isn't it? Rather than just like waving my freaking signal scope everywhere and trying to hoping for the best. Gabro gives good advice, although we've only really spoken to him once or twice. <laughs> Once it says, you see, I don't know how far it is. What we'll try is when it says, when we're at 30 degrees, then we'll start the charge towards the sun.
because I'm assuming we don't have to be at the satellite to uh, see it. I love the way, like, even the um, the recording, Gabbro's recording right there, is, um, like, the velocity is synchronised. Alright. I'm gonna go. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully... The satellite is now a bit kaput. Do you know what? I'm actually going a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I didn't die from the sun. I meditated. Okay. So my plan didn't work. Let's go with LB's plan. Let's wait till it actually appears. To be fair, I I was approaching the sun a lot quicker than I thought I was going to be. My biggest worry was kind of like, I didn't know how long it would take me to get from the satellite to the sun. But clearly, um, it doesn't take that long at all. Right, let's play the waiting game again. Where are we marked on Cabaret's Island? There we go. I don't want that marker anymore. At 16. I'm almost wondering if this, like... Because when I look at it, it's really weird. It was like you could see through the sun. I wonder if it's, like, some sort of portal. I wonder if it's, like... Yeah, I wonder if it's some sort of portal that... Um, it's going to take us somewhere interesting. Well, as soon as we see it appear, we're off.
<laughs> it's all quite interesting. Looking at like where the ash, looking at where the um, the ash twin um, are right there. Um, clearly, the planets aren't in the same place every time. Okay. Okay. This has got some uh, serious, um, I don't know, Independence Day vibes right now. <laughs> have an unknown language. All right. Unknown language found. Second. Um. Sure. So did I Did, did I trigger something? You think the collision bugged out? Okay. Okay. So what I find interesting though is that um I find it interesting that um, there was no like update to the ship log or anything there. Like nothing at all. What I did take from that though is like once you see it though and you're on a path to it, it's um it, it's just there. So obviously at 40 degrees, it's like the optimal angle to see it. And you can't see it from any other, like, there's, there's a, a finite range or finite angles that you can actually see it from. So as long as you're kind of within the range, which is obviously just before 40 and just over 40, and you can keep it on a straight line, then you're pretty much good. So, we'll just chill out here for a bit more. Another 30 degrees or so. Okay, I didn't get far enough to trigger a ship update. Yeah, we've got nothing. Which seems a bit, seems a bit weird, really, because, you know, I, I boarded... I'm going to call it a ship. I boarded the ship. And one of the first things we stumble upon is um, is some unknown language. So surely that would update. Like Surely that would be a, a ship update, a ship log update. It's like saying, oh, we, we entered some weird derelict spaceship and we um, came across some language that we aren't able to translate. And then it would say more to discover. I don't know. I personally, I, I think that's an advancement. But hey, 
I don't develop the game. Maybe the advancements at this stage of the game are um, because they're quite the the steps are quite uh, big, story related. It's just like yeah, it's um, your your puny little discovery does not count for the bigger picture. Here it comes. Obviously, their um, this thing has got some sort of stealth camouflage fact that you can see right through it. Like I say, it's got like, to me it's got like real Independence Day vibes, I don't know why. Obviously their, um, their big ships and everything had like that um, kind of camouflage thing, they just appeared out of nowhere, didn't they? Oh, and there is air, I think. Oh, there isn't air. Nearly. Nearly. <laughs> yeah, I thought for a moment there was air. like some sort of elevator Oh my goodness What is this place? We're on like a, a river rapid ride now. Oh, okay, I see how this uh, is going to control. Okay. Okay. Places. I'm using the same word all the time, so I apologize. Like, all right, all right, all right. I do apologize for the repetitiveness of my language. So that's our way around, it seems. Okay. Interesting looking uh, folk. A bit like deers or stags or something. Stags are deers, aren't they? But If I got to I 
thought it was maybe like a slideshow or something. An airboat. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Was that? Oh. Ah, slide rail. Okay, so we've got to put this in first. That makes sense. So I guess this is like—is this like their way of communicating? Possibly. Oh, it's because I didn't have my. Okay, I'm making my own light here. Okay. How do I... This place is a bit spooky. I don't know if I'm using these things right or not. I don't know. This place is spooky. So that make a... I wonder if there's more slide reels that you can put in over the top of everything else I was about to say. Like I wonder if you can combine the slide reels. No. That's giving us a little bit more here. That's I tell you what, it's really frustrating that I have to keep going down there to like change the position of this slide reel. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Oh, 
Where was the best place going to be to put this, though? Um... Alright, that might do. Okay, so we've got the... Like a solar system. Yeah, this light is terrible. I need to um, find something better. Seems like it's um That can't be good. Is that it? Are we flooded now? Um, okay. I mean, I'll be completely honest, I'm just, this, this place is like, pretty overwhelming. Whatever's going on, though, this place is breaking apart on the inside. Are these buildings, like, locked by a time lock or some description? Interesting. like another one of the uh, recall places. Oh, it's not rotating anywhere, so... I don't know if that's not working because it's waterlogged and it's submerged. Or if there's more to it than that.
This whole place is like just a for lack of a better term, it's a bit like a a washing machine drum. Seen some sort of planet, and then he looks like they're going to look for the planet. Oh, dear God. What did we stumble upon here? Oh. Oh! Okay, so we can pick up a lantern. Can we light the lantern? Maybe that could be a way that we... Um, maybe that could be the way that we get the, uh, the light for the slideshow reels. One thing um, I don't know yet, of course, is, is this, is this actually the eye, or is this just like another species that came to the solar system and the planets, and a uh, similar fate was bestowed upon them, as with the Nomai. Okay, we're about to run out of time. Just trying to sort of gauge. Where exactly we've been and where we haven't been. I think we've literally just covered off that area there. So we haven't quite yet done a full loop, have we? Smashed by the current here. Oh, why are we updating our ship log here? What is this place? We have some sort of tower. Well, I think the ship log is going to have um, some interesting, interesting reads on it, isn't it? This time around, there's a way through the bottom here. 
Oh, and there's more of these dead guys. Interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff indeed. I wonder if we could find, I wonder if we can potentially find that a bit quicker. Oh. What? No, I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you've visited before. It's a brilliant feature, if I do say so myself. Dead useful, and the risk is it poses of shortening, shorting out of, shorting out a fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode, is so minimal that Gosson would would, would worry about it. Um. I always want to ask two questions here. I don't know if I can, but... Oh sure, I'll just magically have the system know all the possible locations you plan to discover throughout your entire solar system, shall I? Well, Slate, how'd you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I've got, really? You're too kind. Um, yeah, it's, ex it's extraordinarily convenient timing. Your thing, Hashling. Anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy and you've got launch codes to grab. Go wild with the, the marking feature while you're out there. Just uh, try not to follow it so directly you fly into the sun, okay? All right, so that means, I guess, so that answered my question, I guess, um, I guess that means I don't have to now worry to about going out to the satellite and finding the right, um, and finding the right, um, uh, free, uh, not the frequency, the right angle, the stranger. Isn't that what we've always done, though? Massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomine in origin. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. There is more to explore here. Okay, so that's where we was when the, the loop ended. So, am I right to assume that that tower got completely knocked over when that gush of water came along. That was interesting. Low-lying region near the entrance of the stranger, there are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. All right, so I think, I think what, we, what we're gonna do, or what we should do, is... We should I think we should just like try and go all the way around first.
Came in at a different angle, but it's completely thrown me. I think I got like completely lucky. Okay, so it takes us to different locations because this isn't where we came out the first time, is it? Oh, okay. I think I see what's going to happen. That dam is going to like that dam is there. That's what causes the massive like water issue. So that's where we were all the way over there the last time the loop ended. Okay. back here. This one looks like it's stranded on here. There's more to explore over here though. I get how the doors and technology works now. Yes, yeah, so everything is controlled by light, basically, when you look at things. Okay, so I can do that and I can turn it. Okay, I, get, I, get, I think I get how to operate this now. Okay, let's... Um, this is where we came in before then, isn't it? The first time. I feel like we actually did a bit of backtracking, didn't we? We all know this is going to end in disaster. This is the other location here where we came to before. I want to I do want to carry on though. If I can at the moment. Oh, I you know what? I wonder uh, maybe not. I'm going to keep that thought to myself for the time being.
Alright, so this is the dam, right? So in theory, we should be safe over here. Go on, Deathwish. <laughs> hey, damn buddy. Well, it had a push raft dialogue pop up before, but I jumped on it. Found jet battery fueler. Some old Oh, this place is pretty freaking airy. To be honest. What is that showing me? There's a core somewhere. Is that under the water? Because it's being held by chains, right? And there's potentially something inside that we can get in from the bottom. Okay. Have we seen something with chains? And down here. What is this place? Interesting that, like, we doze off. Yet, um... We, and we can take off our jetpack to do it, even though we can't breathe the air normally. So I'm not sure what all this means. There is. Oh, there is. There's. Um, of course, there is. There's. Um, there's trees, isn't there? Is this a place I can come to reset the loop? Did 
The only way to test that theory will be to wait until the dam bursts its banks. Um... Alright, I wonder if something different will happen if I'm inside this when the um, when the water level has like subsided enough. So that answered my question though about the um, answer my question about resetting the loop because it obviously didn't reset the loop I don't think the water level is falling, is it? Well, it is. Okay, the water level did fall. There's something over on the other side, though, which looks of interest. Abandon, abandoned raft. This is where I want to explore. There's also another tunnel there. I don't know if the tunnels lead to the same place. To where we came from. So I, I, I wonder what was caused. I wonder what causes the dam to like collapse. Whether it's just a case that there's like there's nobody here and it's just deteriorated over time. Because to be fair, this whole sort of the, the more I kind of like explore this place, the more I'm kind of seeing the um Similar sort of fate to the uh, of the Nomai here. Okay, so we've got another projector here. So, um, can we take these lamps? There we go. So now we just need to find something to put in. To here.
Okay. Yeah, normally, normally my issue is I don't look up. My biggest, um, one of my biggest flaws of like when I'm playing Paul, I'm trying stuck on something for a while, I uh, don't look up. Now this, this is interesting. This has something. This has something that's reminiscent of that thing we just went into. I wonder if it's like. I wonder if it's like some sort of I wonder if it is some sort of entity for lack of a better term which is harmful and they've submerged it under the water to try and keep it from harming the um population Those markings are interesting. Reminds me of the ones we saw in um, what we found yesterday on uh, Dark Bramble. This, this to me, looks like the origins of whatever's in Dark Bramble. You can see, like, the vines and things, like, appearing. Almost. Oh, man, that was creepy. Okay, so this looks like the people and they're, that's a statue, building something to contain it and they're submerging it in the water. Alright, so what was really freaky about that is there was one of these slides somewhere around here, look. That's a bit of a a weird picture and then in the background around here look there's just like some shadows like they're it's almost like they're coming closer I don't know weird very very weird So the house, the rest of the house there has like fallen apart. I don't know. I don't know if there's any more reels here to to find. But yeah, definitely getting a vibe from that. That 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 thing over there is not good, and they wanted to submerge it to stop it from causing harm. That's what I'm taking from that at the moment, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any more reels down there. The doors on their own are freaky, man. Okay, so... Let's head on over in this direction. time already all 
Right, so not sure how we're going to get into there. We need to find or uncover some sort of code. Right, so we're So this place must be have been derelict and abandoned for quite some time because the trees and everything have been the trees have kind of like ah that looks like something we might want to uh, take note of right there Looks like the code that we need to enter. There is a door into there. No, I don't need to do it, but let me just uh, take a screen. I'm just going to take a screen grab of that. Just in the nick of time. All right, I'm going to uh, quickly grab a um, drink in between this loop and we start the next before we come back there. But um, yeah, th things are getting, things are getting tasty, aren't they? Things are getting very tasty. I just wait for this to be uh, Finish and then I'll go and head and get a drink. All right, I apologize to YouTube. Um, I didn't, I didn't um, pause it from coming back from the drink. Uh, just a quick catch up. We've come back to the, um, we've come back to this, uh, this thing, this ring world, whatever you want to call it. And we have just been discovering some slides. And because I messed up, let's just go through it really quickly again, just for YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I did notice, LB, that the, um, the time did pause when I was going through the slides. I think it's pretty much the same as like reading text and whatnot. But we'll just go through them real quickly, just because I'm a derp and forgot to unpause my recording. Uh, so yeah, they found the eye and they were worshipping the eye, but this guy kind of s saw that the eye is the destroyer of all things almost. So they then go ahead and get angry and burn the shrine to the eye down. And then there's something with the metal casing that was under the um, water that we found earlier on. And... Yeah, there's some interesting bits and pieces there. That's like their ring world in that bottom corner there, isn't it? And then this is our solar system and them cloaking themselves within the solar system. Uh, I've got really lazy with editing, to be honest, LB. I just literally just compress my recording down and then throw it onto YouTube. So these are all the symbols, actually. These are all the symbols that were on the uh, that metal thing, weren't they? There were three symbols, top to bottom. And I wonder if this will tell us about those. Okay, so it comes out of the darkness. Wait, are these are these people like really tiny? Because like that person's like or that thing is there, or is this this structure really big? Anyway, it turns on a light, and that's okay. So this is them sealing 
what is underneath the water then. That's how that they sealed the, that lock off. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Check and see if there's any more reels in here, but I don't think there is. Not sure what this um, artifact is. I feel like we need to put something in this though, like the conceal, so we can hide it or we can focus the light. I think there's like some light source that needs to go in here. But this is the um, this is the eye shrine that they um, burnt down. Sure, there's too much more here to see. Okay, so that remained intact this time. I've sworn that it had uh, toppled over, unless there's a second one. But uh, all right, we need to we need to motor because. Um, If we don't uh, soon hurry up, we're going to be running out of time. Interesting. Interesting that... Um there's a segment there that's a little bit electrified. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight the current here. No. Alright, well. Something else to take note of there. Um, I feel like there's so much to take in. I feel like by the time I actually get here, like the loop's going to be over again, and then we're going to be like back to square one. I really should have sort of stuck to my guns and set a set a task and, and stuck. Well, I did set a task, but I should have stuck with the task at hand. I feel. Okay, so this is to be sun. Weird sideways thing. 
flame. Weird sideways thing. Flame. Okay, that's um, destroyed. That's saying like some sort of link is broken or some sort of link is down, perhaps. Possibly. Okay. Seems like it's almost referring to like some sort of communication link somewhere between something. Seems like a really silly thing to say because obviously communication link is normally between one or more things. now. I oh, know. I can get out. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to explore the dam. Hey, there's our DB. Uh, not really sure what that acronym is, though. You might have to help us out with that one, Atom. How you doing there, buddy? Hope you're well. Death by Cooper? A bit of unique symbols recessed into one of the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead it was rotted away. So I draw from the cinder aisles showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around a strong vault. Then a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burnt out building. So much has been burnt. And so ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Yes, yeah, so we need to work out what else we got there then, don't we? A room of burnt controlled interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was saying. It uh, seems to indicate that there is a... Um, communication is down, at least. Alright. Back we go. I was currently stood up an airplane, got a bag of cash, and was never found again after followed parachuting out the plane. Okay. Death by a broken ship by astronaut not. Well, technically, I can't, that's, that, we can't use that acronym because I wasn't in the ship. Atom, I was literally just flying around, so... Alright, so for LB this time as well. Let's see if we can actually land 
Not so close to the edge. Pretty sure I'm not on the edge there. So what, whoever thought these doors were a good idea. So that's the ghost matter place. Now that we know how to use the lanterns, we should probably stop here. This was the place that we came to very the very start, wasn't it? So... We just need to find... A lantern. I'm sure we can find... broken. This is where we came in the very first time. Lanterns are over here. to get away from the pier or the boardwalk, whatever you want to call it. Okay. More burnt stuff. That's them sealing the chamber closed. So it looks like they're... It looks like they're sealing it shut using light and those special... Um, those special like platforms, I guess. We have a planet here that kind of looks a bit like Saturn. There's the eye. Sending out a just okay. So this, I, I wonder if this is how the Nomai were called because it looks like it's the eye and it's sending out like the signal. Maybe this is how the guys first or this this um, race of people first came to be in our solar system. He's like amazed and can't believe what's going on, sharing it with everybody. And then... They're in this ship. Set a course for our solar system. Okay, so that's their solar system. Right there.
doesn't look like there's anything left at this segment here. May be wrong, of course. I think our log said there was more to discover here though as well, didn't it? Yeah, I'm a little bit weirded as to what just happened there. That was a bit um, weird. However, having said that, though, is this another one of those chains? Oh, no, it's the same one. So I'm guessing this is what causes the dam to go kaboom. That's where we need to get to. We need to go there. We also need to take a look at all this over here. I don't think we've looked at that yet either, have we? Okay. Like a, an underpass somewhere. Up a shady location. It's 
mistakes were made. Not really sure what's happening here. Not really sure. Did we get anything new on that, that time around? Something on the slide rails. Origins of the strangers and the evidence. Several slides have been burnt and cannot be viewed. I wonder if the... Um, I do wonder though if their... If their solar system is the one that the Nomai identified as being like a safe. Uh, safe on the uh, messages we saw from the vessel. I do sort of wonder whether or not... Um, that's the one, but... Don't do that in real life. Can't promise anything, but... I'll certainly try my best. Thing is, I don't think I'll be... Alright, one thing I want to check here. Can... Mm, I guess not. How did I end up in a different place the first time, then? Kind of weird. Unless I'm just imagining things. Do I think it is? I feel like it's a bit of a... Um, I, I just give me a sec. I just want to concentrate here a minute. I want to get to a specific place here. Airboat time again, Deathwish. I feel it'd be like um, almost like the the reels that we're finding. So it'd be almost like a ring. I blew it. So it have two orientations. 
Hmm. Oh, I suppose that would make sense. Because technically we're coming at it from the other side than we pre than we were previously when we were doing it from the satellite. Imagine it's like flat. And then we were we were coming in from this way before, like out in deep space, right? So I guess there's two sides, so that makes sense. Uh Death Wish, we're gonna go for I'm gonna go for fifty thousand eight hundred and seventy four. I'm gonna go for. Uh, I don't think there's a way I can... climb up here. will protect me. The raft will protect me. Which means I gotta do another loop, right? Do I investigate these buildings? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So that flicker, the that flicker was um, looked like it was doing like those bits expanding or opening up, for lack of a better term. We've been in here. Can confirm I've been in here. Did I dock at the dam? No. I didn't even realise there was a dock on the dam. I've walked over the dam. Alright, lesson learned here is... Turn the flashlight off. That's pretty neat. It's very neat indeed. 
Yo, pretzel factory, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's go round again. Let's go round again. I don't think we've got as many as last night, though, Deathwish. We, uh, I, uh, I banned a load before the uh, stream started today, so... Yeah, I think I counted, like, about 12 or 13 bots on the channel last night. That was just... Redonkulous. Okay, so there's... Oh, midnight. <laughs> okay, so let's just casually go in here. Try not to gain too much speed. Abandon the raft. Hopefully, we're not going to bash ourselves on anything over here. I'm starting to think though that I need the shit, I need the raft to um, be able to get up here. Well, rip. Keep that in mind. Don't have to worry too much about fuel, to be fair. Because, um, because this place is plenty of trees. We'll, um... This is a bit of a yikes moment. I'm not gonna lie. destruction though, like seriously. Pretty crazy. Okay. We need to find a raft. Oh, we 
do that. I'm pretty sure. There's some jetpack fuel in here. It doesn't particularly matter too much about the jetpack fuel because the um, uh, because we're in a, a place with oxygen. Um, see, when you run out of fuel, you get the um, oxygen as the propellant. So we've got pretty much an infinite propellant source. A bit like when we was on the um, like the main segment of the um, vessel, I think it was yesterday. All right. We've got a raft in here first. Yeah, I know it's much weaker, but I mean, I suppose... Ah, uh, it's not good. Everything here is destroyed. Well, I suppose we can get up here at least. Okay, so that's a uh, elevator. Bit of a weird layout, this place. doing there. Through the ghost matter. Where were before where the bridge was broken? Almost looks like another um, ice shrine. There's the artifact. I got a 
few slide reels here. So these slide reel things are like really creepy. They're they're all right until you get to like the, um, the burnt slides, and then like the whole sort of vibe of them changes. Did I mistake that for one? I think I did. Hmm. All right, so there's only two. Only two. Okay. So this is the final lock here. Comes forward. Third lock is applied. And that's it. What is he? What are they lighting them with? They got like lights. Like it's hard to say because I can't zoom in, but like right in the center of its like chest, there's like there's like a shape, a light, a really light shape. And I wonder if that's like a light. And as they're stepping up to here, they're shining their own sort of light through here. Hmm. Oh, I think the loop's about to come. I'll not be able to stop it even now because. Uh... Alright, so the travel to the they're watching. It's back home. I think they're quite distraught that they've come here. They're missing home. Alright, so put a flame. There's some way I could put a flame in them. Okay. They're using the artifacts with a flame in the middle of it. Okay, I think we need to get an artifact, then we need to go to one of these weird chambers, it seems. Yeah, I think that was uh, that was a big, big clue to what we need to do with these um, artifacts. Okay, so Very, very interesting indeed. There's also uh, another code thing there that we... I mean, we haven't explored this whole area yet. I'm sure there'll be more to find, but... Yeah, there was another one of those... Um code doors, so I'm guessing there'll be another code to find in that area somewhere. Okay, well, um, it's about that time. Uh, I don't feel like, I know my uh, YouTube recording is a little bit behind. I was in stream with three hours. Um, YouTube is only like 2.17 because we missed a bit. But uh, okay, so let's catch up on everything here and then uh, we'll wrap things up for tonight. So uh, 
So I found strange vault wrapped in chains. A slight reel from the river lowland showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and glowing symbol. Uh, Cinder Isle showed a glowing symbol and chains appeared around strange vault. And then the same for the hidden gorge. Our gorge is on the rightmost branch of the river. There are dwellings built into both cliffs faces high above. Slide reel that shows strangers inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Several slides have been burnt and cannot be viewed. And then we've got um, uh, you didn't press theatre mode, did you, Atom? Or the arrow at the side to like hide the right bar. Uh, an abandoned temple marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel. It can be accessed from a passage in the hidden gorge. All right, so there's more. So here we need to be looking at the Cinder Isles. And we also need to be looking at the Hidden Gorge. I dare say the Hidden Gorge, there's some more things to... Um, there's a lot more buildings and things to look at there. <laughs> the Cinder Isles, I think, is going to be a case of getting the artifact and then going into one of those cylindrical buildings and seeing if we can actually do um, what the, the reel suggested. I'm half tempted to uh, have a quick look at that, actually. I'm half tempted. All right, give me a sec. Um... Alright, let's go. I'm, I'm going to do it quickly, really quickly. Do you know what? Once again, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to... Uh, <laughs> tempted to say no, no portal on uh, Saturday night. much to uh, the problem is right like because of my schedule it's like the next time we'll be streaming this will be a week Wednesday week tomorrow and I don't know if I can last that long Okay, that makes sense. That that makes perfect sense now. How this whole thing works, yeah. They're like the things the the entrances are polar opposites, aren't they? Uh gotta do that and come back. Yikes. Must remember spacesuit. I 
I'm also tempted to. Um, I know it. Uh, it means a lot, uh, mo you guys won't be able to join me live, but I'm also tempted to uh, take a day's holiday. I've been thinking about taking a day's holiday on Thursday and doing a stream on Thursday in the day, but uh, I don't know yet. I'm fully committed to that yet. Because I've got some holiday days to use before the end of the year. Pull me up, Scotty. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, we need to take the elevator. I guess that makes sense, like why all the doors and all the mechanics here are operated by light, because it's like if I, as I theorized, like it looks like these creatures have. Um, like a light on their stomachs or on their chests. So I guess that would kind of make sense as to why everything is light operated. They could just kind of... Uh, oh, there is another. Oh, there is an upstairs. They could just kind of like come along and um, shine their light and be able to get to where they need to go, right? this place um so I think I need the dam to collapse to be able to properly proceed okay this is yeah this is where I was so this is the artifact. So yeah, I need to find the tower where... There's a tower somewhere where the... I could get down into where, like, I... I could get down to... I do always keep my... Uh, try and keep my Twitch schedule up to date, LB, so... In order for this to work though, I need to be able to fill it or put something inside it, don't I? through there is it
Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in here anyway to see. Maybe I could have just opened the door. Okay, so how do I get down there? Interesting, like the scout auto equipped there. But the game's telling me without like me having to even use my kind of brain to figure something out it's like telling me okay you need to uh, you need to do this okay so could I do this then Yeah, there's not much to do there. So... To remember where the theatre was. I think it's... I know it's not a theatre, but I'll call it a theatre. Something's maybe aligned. I know that's, that's on the ship, isn't it? So, so this is the ship. I don't know which side it is. But in like a... 10 o'clock position. And there is a... Potentially something to investigate there. Okay. Let me make a note. Then lock position outside. Yeah, 
out just for now. The old hell's about to break loose. just to let the water uh, come through here and uh, nice to actually see this I think to be fair I'd like to see like the dynamic um, event occur and how it kind of like changes everything around us okay Everybody be surfing. Could be a bad move. Okay. Is this the one? I'm guessing they I don't know maybe if I need to come here with the artifact before before the dam breaks but sentence. Right, we avoided the rapids.
Right, there's no way in here. I thought there was... a hole somewhere. Come on, settle down. Settle down. Thank you. Okay. It almost looks like a teleportation sort of device of some description. I wonder if this is like a quick way for the the species. if it's a quick way for the species to sort of like teleport between different bits and pieces um, like different areas of the of the ring world I ain't going nowhere with that um, don't even know which way's up right now truly screwed now because we have no upwards thrust because we've only got um, we can only use the oxygen okay well um, another um, action packed stream I have massively run over tonight <laughs> but um, yeah I could sit here and play this for another good few hours yet but uh, unfortunately I've got to end it there guys um, I would say I don't feel like we've again we don't like, feel we've done much but we I know deep down we have done absolutely loads we've gone from like um, yeah what's going on Rince do um, we've gone from like having one sort of one uh, entry um, on the map to pretty much, I won't say filling it, but it's definitely looking a lot uh, fuller than it did before. I started running here, gorgeous explosion, blowing the hide hold of the stranger. Yes, so we've got to go and check that out. I've made a note to check that out next time. Uh, tower sits at the top of the Sindal. The upper floor can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower, and there's more to explore there. I wonder if that's because we need to uh, check out the real. Um, there and uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that is pretty much 
everything for now. So, um, yeah. That's going to... Uh, we'll call it there for now, guys. Um, we'll be back, like I said, a week Wednesday on the stream with Outer Worlds. Um, Saturday night, we'll be back streaming on Portal. And uh, for YouTube, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll be back, like I say, real soon with the new next episode. Hope you're enjoying it on YouTube. And uh, thanks for your continued support. Until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming. Bye-bye, guys.